Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to change a harp string. We're going to focus on some aspects that I think are really important uh, each time that you want to change a string. Uh, some tricks that I've learned along the way. Uh, it is not easy nor it is, f is it fun, um, but just as important as learning how to play. So let's just jump right in. Familiarize yourself with your harp and take a look at this chart. Figure out how many strings you have on your instrument and that should be able to tell you where you start in the first octave range or zero octave range and how far you go down, whether you go down to the fourth octave, fifth octave, sixth octave, or seventh octave. Please visit my website and go to the resources page where you will find a link on how to change a harp string. On that page, you'll find several links which will help you figure out what string that you need, whether it's gut, nylon, or wire. Place your tuning pin so that the hole faces from top to bottom, so that the hole does not face horizontally like that, but up and down like so. This is from one of my books from the Harp Olympics by Suzanne McDonald. It's a great series to have, and this drawing will be something we're gonna use. Let's go ahead and take your string and place the short end, which is in my right hand, over the string, the longer string that's in my left hand, creating the first loop, then do the same thing with the second loop. Take that second loop that you just made in your left hand and place it behind and through the first loop. Take your string end and stick it through that second loop that you just stuck through the first loop. And while holding on to that very tightly, what I do is I put my teeth on the shorter end and pull with the other end. Trim off the excess so that you have maybe an inch of string left. Another trick when you're snaking it through the hole there is to make sure the string end is horizontal. Go ahead and thread that string through the hole in the tuning pin. Make sure to give it a little bit of slack. I give it about a half an octave. Crease the string with your right hand on top of the tuning pin. And while holding on to that string with your left hand, go ahead and start turning. Pluck the string you want to tune with your second finger. Place your thumb on any string above it as a crutch. And never take your hand off the tuning key while, the t while it is on the tuning pin. Bend that string to stretch it. This is gonna help the string settle much faster and stay in tune quicker. For your wire strings, get yourself a nice pair of wire cutters. When you're taking off the old wire string and you want to bring it through that hole, you can cut off that excess so it looks like this and it can easily go through that hole without damaging the harp. For the excess string that you have on the upper register of the harp that you can reuse, 
loop it over on itself and snake it over to the other side of the harp which should not be in view to your guests while you're playing and just uh, position them on the tuning pins like so. That way you want to keep the string on like so for maybe a week or two while the string settles and when the string is finally in tune then you can, then you can cut off the excess and stick it back in the packaging. Thank you.